What's happening everyone man, thanks for tuning in once again man, it's Jay's channel um, Smack the notification bell man, let me know your take of whatever I talk about man, drop a comment Let me know your take um, Thanks for tuning in once again man, dropping another one for you all Listen, I just wanted to talk um, Pacquiao Spence Um Wally Pacquiao, I want to talk about um, having another stab at Mayweather saying, you know, Spence, man, you're better than Mayweather, you don't need his advice. This is a tactical game, people. This is a tactical game. Manny Pacquiao is the most dangerous in the welterweight division. You know, the most underestimated. The, way, the, the reason why I say he's the most dangerous is because he's the oldest and people think, right, man, I'm gonna beat up this old man. You know, he hasn't got he hasn't got what it take. Thurman fell into that trap, got knocked out. You know, so Pacquiao is basically telling Spence, you don't need Mayweather, man, because I'm gonna try to knock you out. And even Sean Porter's mentioned, I've sparred with Pacquiao, I fought Spence. He says Pacquiao, man, when he hits you, it's like a scorpion hitting you. So basically you're paralyzed, you know, and and then he sort of comes after you and knocks you out. For him to say that inspiring, you know, if I'm not wrong here, you gotta remember, inspiring. They don't use use the usual the usual ounce gloves. They use um sixteen ounce gloves if I'm not wrong. I may be wrong here, but to my knowledge, um, especially in the heavyweight scene, you know, I'm not sure about Walter weight, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's probably they would use a higher weight. So the standard fight is 10 ounces, right? Normally you have 10 ounce gloves. So let's just say Porter sparred Pacquiao with even 14 ounce or 12 ounce, you know, or 16 ounce. This is more padding than the gloves, people. These gloves are not as light as fighting gloves. So if he's saying that Pacquiao is, is stunning me like a cobra, then this is, you know, that just shows that Pacquiao's power is dangerous. Very dangerous. Actually, he said that Spence had to give me everything, you know. And mind you, Spence did put down Porter with a clean shot. A left hook, I believe. You know, so this is all mind games from Pacquiao, man. He knows that the power is still there. You know, he's also mentioned that in the sparring, no one's knocked him out in sparring, you know, which is easy to believe. Like I said, you know, in sparring, they use, um, um, you know, the gloves on as, as lights, as when you're in an actual fight, you know, it's a, more of a 16 ounce versus a 10 ounce. Something on those lines, you know, and when, you, when you're inspiring, man, you always put on the gloves that has more padding to prevent the fighter from getting injured before a fight, you know, which is a common thing. Um, so Pacquiao's power is no joke, people. I won't be surprised if Spence loses this fight at all. Won't be surprised, you know. Won't be surprised at all. But um, it all comes to the first six rounds, in my opinion. Can Spence catch Pacquiao? And will it hurt him enough to put him down? Or can Pacquiao catch Spence in the first six rounds? Because after six rounds, that's when Spence is at his best. You know, he, he takes a while. To rev up his engine, you know. Pacquiao's the sort of guy, man, he starts to care and he comes to you full whack, you know, starts in the fifth gear. He's that sort of fighter. He's the more aggressive fighter between the two. So I truly believe that he's saying, man, Spence, don't, don't, don't even talk to Mayweather because I want to catch you early, you know, because Mayweather did beat Pacquiao and the key to Mayweather beating Pacquiao was to stay away from him. To stay away from that shot that Porter's talking about, man, that cobra. That the sting from a cobra. 
that that Porter's stating. You know, it's like getting stung from a cobra when Pacquiao hits you. So, so it's going to be an interesting fight, people. It's going to be a very interesting fight. I believe that Pacquiao is just selling Spence to stay away from Mayweather. Doesn't want him to run. Wants to fight him toe to toe. Wants to catch him with with that um, that right hook. And then follow up with combinations. Pacquiao is a combination puncher. That's how he beats you. You know what Porter's saying is a hundred percent correct. He not he, he beats you to the punch, stuns you, and then finishes you off, knocks you out. You know a lot of guys when they beat you to the punch, they'll throw one, two, or whatever. Man, you know just keep boxing. Pacquiao is the sort of guy when he, when he beats you to the punch, they try to end you straight away. You know he's a combination puncher. He only comes forward. He's the more aggressive one, I've stated. You know, so... I believe for Spence, that is the key to stay out of the pocket in the first six and then come after the, after round six and start pushing Manny Pacquiao back, you know, wear him out more. Um, obviously, Spence will have more on the tank at the end of the fight due to faster recovery, man, because of age and all that. You know, Pacquiao's not the same anymore. His reflex ain't there anymore. As it used to be, he can still box, obviously, he can still punch. But this is all mind games. Um, two weeks before the fight, no, oh, man, I just wanted to talk on that. Um, and I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm looking forward to it. Let me know your take, man. Is Pacquiao playing mind games with Spence? Or do you think it's just bad blood between him and Mayweather, man? Let me know your take. Do you think that Pacquiao will win? Because I believe he has a very strong chance of beating Spence. But that's just my view. Let me know yours. Thanks for stopping by.